The animation begins, it is summer, and we are shown a group of sparrows who are perched above the entrance of a confectionery patiently waiting for crumbs of snacks to feed on. Soon, we see a girl come out of the store holding a bag full of cookies, and the sparrows are all excited. She picks out a cookie and takes a bite, and the birds immediately rush to eat the cookie crumbs on the floor. We are also shown another sparrow named Robert flying hastily to the confectionery to get a snack too. He realizes that he is late as he sees the birds struggling to eat the most crumbs of cookies. Robert and his wife are expecting a baby, so he came to the snack shop to see if he'd get any snacks to welcome his newborn and feed his family. He begs the other birds to leave some of the snack crumbs for him but they pay no attention to him. Luckily for him, he sees the little girl who had a bag full of cookies a bit ahead, so he immediately flies toward her and steals a whole cookie. The rest of the sparrows at the confectionery stare in awe as he flies with his food into the woods. Robert flies hurriedly because his newborn is about to hatch, and he wouldn't want to miss it. In his rushing flight, he interrupts a meeting of storks and apologizes while still focused on his journey. Finally, he arrives at his nest where his wife, sitting on her egg, patiently waits for him. Together, they watch their egg gradually hatch, crack by crack. They are interrupted by a bear, who slowly climbs and advances toward their net. Robert tries his best to protect his family from this wild animal, but he was overpowered. A stone's throw away, Aurora, a female stork, is hunting fishes and feeding on them when she hears a sound from across the woods. Out of curiosity, she stops all that she's doing and flies towards the place she hears the sound from. She arrives at the nest and sees a hatching egg. This nest belongs to the birds that were earlier attacked by a bear and this egg is their offspring. The egg completely hatches and coming out from it is a male baby sparrow named Richard as his parents gave him while he was still in the egg. Aurora is the first thing Richard sees as he hatches and immediately calls her his mother. She is a bit reluctant but seeing the circumstance that surrounded Richard's hatching, she bundles him in leaves and takes him to her home. Arriving at her home, she meets Max, her young son, and her husband Claudius. Her husband tells her about his day and mentions how his meeting was interrupted by a sparrow. Aurora then reveals Richard to her family and tells them of her intentions to take care of him as her child. But her husband strongly refuses, stating that the storks and the sparrows are different types of birds, and Richard won't do any good living with them. Aurora tries her best to convince Claudius also telling him about what happened to Richard's parents. Her husband finally agrees, but gives the condition that Richard would live with them but go on his path by fall. During their conversation, Max and Richard had already grown fond of each other and were away playing. Richard is now part of the family, a son to Aurora and Claudius, and a brother to Max. Richard gradually develops under the care of Aurora and her family. He learns how to fly and do so many other things as he grows up. He and Max are the closest friends, and they spend most of their leisure playing and flying through the woods. One day, during one of their fun times in the woods, Claudius summons Max. It is fall and the period for the storks to migrate to Africa. Claudius calls for a clan meeting, to which Richard isn't invited. This leaves Richard surprised because his family has never gone anywhere without him. Aurora calms him down, telling him to stay in the nest while they leave for the meeting. Richard later leaves the nest for the meeting place and hides to listen to the conversation the clan is having. Claudius announces that fall has arrived, and it is time for the Great Migration. He mentions to them that they must migrate before winter comes and draws a map to explain that they would migrate south to the Great Lake in Africa. Richard falls from his hiding place and shares his excitement about the migration. Then Claudius decides to tell him the truth, he shares with Richard that he isn't a stork, but a sparrow. Aurora takes Richard to his parents' nest to show him where she found him, also telling him his origin. But Richard refuses to believe the truth and insists that he is a stork. He flies home to prepare for the migration journey which was planned for dawn. At dawn, Claudius, his family, and the rest of the clan begin their journey leaving Richard, who is asleep, behind. Richard wakes up, and he realizes that everyone has left him, he sights them far away and begins flying toward them. Unfortunately, it begins to rain accompanied by strong winds. He loses control and falls into the woods, and passes out. Richard is woken up by an owl named Olga. It is dark when he wakes up and is scared by her appearance, so he runs to hide. Richard later comes out of his hiding and introduces himself to Olga, she does the same and also introduces Richard to her imaginary best friend, Oleg. Richard explains to Olga that he plans to find the colony of storks and follow them to Africa. Olga tells him that he isn't a stork but a sparrow and his features aren't built for long-distance travel compared to the storks. Richard pays her no attention as usual, as he still doesn't believe that he is not a stork. 
He leaves Olga to embark on the journey, and not too long after he leaves, he is attacked by a group of bats. He is almost overpowered, but Olga appears to rescue him. Together, they run into the woods, defending themselves from the bats, and finally, they get them off their trail. Richard asks Olga to use her night vision to help him navigate the way only for the night. Though she refuses at first, Olga agrees to help him. On the migration journey, Max looks sad, and his mom tells Claudius about it. Claudius tells her that Max will learn a lot from the experience. And regarding Richard, he comforts Aurora, mentioning to her that he must have found other sparrows. The next day, Richard wakes up on a tour bus, he sees Olga still sleeping and wakes her up. Olga mentions to Richard that he fell asleep while flying, making them land on the bus. Richard reminds Olga of the journey ahead, but Olga decides to eat first. She flies across to a fast food joint and, grabbing a customer's order, flies away. Later on, they meet with some birds and they ask about the whereabouts of the storks. After asking around, the birds tell Richard that the storks were seen heading towards Gibraltar. So, Richard and Olga set off on their journey to Gibraltar. Unfortunately, they get lost on the way and perch on the roof of a bar. It is at this bar that they meet Kiki, a disco parrot, in a cage. Kiki lies to them that he knows the way to their destination and tells them to release him from the cage. The truth is that Kiki is deceiving Richard and Olga so he can be released and attend the disco festival at San Remo. The sparrow and the owl, not knowing that they are being deceived, release the parrot, and they all get on a train heading to San Remo. The storks encounter a storm on their flight, Max is terrified and asks his father if they should find a place to rest for the night until the storm passes, but Claudius refuses and instructs the birds to keep on flying. On the train, Olga tells the other birds how she was never accepted by his family. Olga is a pygmy owl, and she's bigger than other birds of her species. She never fit in from birth making her stand alone, she then met Oleg, her imaginary friend, and it has been both of them ever since. In the morning, the train arrives at San Remo, so Kiki abandons Olga and Richard in the train and heads for the festival. Richard later realizes that they have been deceived by Kiki, and they are very upset that he would do that to them. While flying around San Remo, Olga and Richard get into a disagreement about their identities. They say hurtful words to each other. Olga tells Richard that the problem originated from his refusal to accept that he is a sparrow. Instead, he is sticking to the illusion in his head that he is a stork. Richard replies to him, saying that Oleg isn't real, that he is a figment of Olga's imagination. This disagreement almost gets physical and they part ways. Olga falls into a chimney and she is stuck in it. Frustrated, she blames Oleg for the situation she is in and for pushing her to help Richard in the first place. She says so many things out of anger and wishes that she never met Oleg. She quickly realizes what she says, but it's too late, Oleg is gone. Olga begins to search for him, calling his name as she flies. At the disco festival, Kiki arrives on the red carpet with the humans but realizes that the disco festival for the birds is on the roof of the building. He heads there and is excited to perform. Richard comes across a stork nest but no one is there, he claps his beaks together to alert them, but there is no reply, so he becomes downcast. At the disco festival, Kiki isn't allowed to perform, instead, another parrot performs the song he wanted to perform. He sheds tears and sadly leaves the venue of the festival. Not only that, but he heads to the ferry and continues his wailing. Suddenly, he overhears two birds having a conversation about a sparrow on the cliff who plans to fly across the ocean to Africa. These birds mention that it is very dangerous and a sparrow would die trying to embark on that type of journey. The birds later fly to go watch. Kiki knows that the sparrow they are to talk about is Richard. He immediately flies to find him to warn him against carrying such action. He sees Olga and informs her about the latest development. But Olga doesn't believe him as she has been deceived by Kiki before. She later listens to him and threatens to break his neck if he's lying this time. Together, they fly towards the cliff. Arriving at the cliff, they meet Richard, who is ready to take off. They beg him to reconsider his decision, telling him that he won't be able to survive. Kiki apologizes to him for lying and deceiving him. But Richard remains adamant and takes his flight. Immediately, Richard makes his flight and the wind at the sea sways him around. Being a sparrow, and not having strong wings, Richard has no control over his body, so he begins to fall into the water. Olga and Kiki, seeing this, both fly down towards him trying to save him from getting into the sea and drowning. Olga holds one of Richard's wings, and Kiki holds the second one on the other side, and together, they fly up toward the sky. They retain this arrangement and soar across the ocean with a beautiful sunset view at their dispense, towards Africa. It gets dark, and soon, their peaceful journey is interrupted by an airplane which they almost collide with. This occurrence makes them lose their balance, and they start falling from the sky. 
Olga loses her consciousness in air, noticing this, Kiki and Richard get a hold of her as they continue falling towards the ocean. Below them, they see an ocean liner so they decide to land on it, and they fall into a pool in the ship. They come out of the pool and try to resuscitate Olga who is still unconscious. Kiki offers her mouth-to-mouth -mouth respiration to resuscitate her, but it's unfruitful. They get emotional seeing how unresponsive she is. Richard begs Oleg, the imaginary friend, for help. He apologizes for everything and asks that Oleg revives Olga. A few moments later, Olga wakes up, and they are all happy. The next day, Kiki finds out that the ship's destination is Africa, and he goes to Richard to tell him. But Richard doesn't seem moved by this news. He has accepted the truth that he isn't a stork, but he is worried that the storks won't want to accept him. His friends tell him that they'll assist him to find his family and that no matter what, they are there for him. After doing their best to cheer him up, they fly towards another part of the ship. The storks land at an oasis in Africa to rest there until the heat passes. Claudius is surprised that the water that used to be in the oasis has dried up. A duck nearby tells him that the water dried up as a result of the dams built by humans. Then he offered to direct Claudius to where his clan can get water, but he proudly declines. Max and his father get into an argument relating to how Richard was abandoned. It is obvious that Max is still upset about everything, so he walks away from where the other storks are settled. Claudius goes after his son to bring him back. Max, well away, hears a noise, he then follows the sound and discovers a hole. Out of curiosity, he looks into the hole and falls into it. His father comes along calling his name but he nowhere to be found. Richard and his friends finally arrive in Africa where they get the news of Max being in danger from some birds. Immediately, they fly towards the oasis to rescue Max. At the oasis, Claudius tries to enter the hole, but he is too big to gain entrance. The rest of the storks gather around the hole, thinking of a solution. Behind them, they hear a voice, so they turn around and see Richard in the oasis. They are all surprised to see him, wondering how he made it thus far. Richard asks about Max's whereabouts, and they inform him that he fell into the hole. This hole is where the honey badger lives, it is a very fierce and dangerous animal of the desert. Richard decides to go into the hole to find his brother, his friends volunteer to go with him. Inside the hole, it is very dark and Kiki is terrified. Olga uses her night vision to navigate the tunnel, aiding her friends. They arrive at a brighter side of the tunnel, this part has different tunnels, so they decide to spread out. Three of them enter different tunnels. Richard softly calls out to Max as he walks down the tunnel. He arrives at a wide area where he sees Max laying unconscious on the ground. He runs towards him, and his brother who wakes up and recognizes him. Kiki encounters an attack by spiders, and he raises an alarm while running. There is chaos for a while and some rocks crumble inside the tunnel stopping the spiders from advancing. They decide to start heading outside the hole and suddenly, the honey badger appears and attacks them. Due to the chaos happening inside the tunnel, some rocks start falling and Richard's leg is caught in one of them, so he is unable to move. The honey badger, seeing this, slowly approaches Richard to eat him. As soon as he opens his mouth to consume the poor sparrow, Kiki distracts him by putting on a disco performance. Richard, seeing that the badger is distracted, uses a bone on the ground to lift the stone off his leg and flies out of the honey badger's way. When he notices that Richard has escaped, he gets furious and chases him around the tunnel. Richard while flying to protect himself instructs Olga and Kiki to take Max away from the tunnel and out of harm's way. They oblige and do just that, but later realize that they have arrived at a dead end. Above the tunnel, they could hear Claudius, instructing the storks to continue searching for Richard and his friends. Max starts using his long beak to till into the tunnel wall above them. Once his beak could come out, he calls unto his mom and dad. Claudius sees this and instructs the storks to all dig into that area, rescuing Max, Olga, and Kiki. Inside the hole, Richard protects himself and at the same time searches for a path to escape from. He makes up a plan to use the badger to break the rocks that served as pillars for the hole, so everything would collapse. Richard flies around the hole, placing himself at different pillars, and the badger ran into all the pillars. Suddenly, the entire hole and its rocks crumble and collapse on the badger. Outside the hole, Richard's friends and family witness the hole collapsing and become devastated as there is no sign of him. Thinking that he is dead, they start to weep. A stone's throw away from there, Olga hears a sound, she looks toward it and sees Richard coming out of a tiny hole and dug himself out of. She alerts the other birds, and they run toward him. Aurora takes Richard into her wings, giving him a warm embrace. She asks him how he survived the journey, and he introduces his new friends, Olga and Kiki, to her. Claudius apologizes to Richard for not believing in his potential and expresses his gratitude to Kiki, and Olga. The clan of storks begins to clap their beaks in appreciation too. Richard, Max, Kiki, Olga, Aurora, Claudius, and the rest of the stork clan all fly together toward the Great Lake. The migrants all experience an exasperating feeling of joy and success as they fly across the lake, arriving at their destination. The end. If you love this video, please leave a like and subscribe.